Hey everyone, um, today I'm at a park and I found this bunch of rocks over here and I'm gonna try and look for some black widows. Uh, black widows really like um, this kind of area. I've already flipped a few rocks and I did find one black widow, so I'm hoping there will be more. Um, let's get started. So there is a black widow web right here and I'm pretty sure it's black widow web because I'm feeling it and it's, it's very firm. So, unlike the cellar spider webs, which aren't as strong. So, I'm gonna carefully. Move some of the rocks out of the way. Rounds. So here is an empty black widow egg sack. So a few hundred baby black widows might have hatched out of this. So it looks like it might be hiding in here. I'm just gonna leave that like that for a minute and check over here first. So I found her. She is under there. I believe that's what I'm focusing on. But it's the uh, large female southern black widow spider right under there um i'm gonna move some of these rocks out of the way so we can get to this easier Oh, actually, there's another one right here. This is a smaller female right there. Yeah, but there's the big one. Ah. All right, let's see if we can get this into a container. So, I've got my container right here. This might be a bit of a challenge doing this one-handed, but I'm going to attempt it. She's tech. She's trying to wrap up the stick right here as a defense. I'm gonna try and get her onto the stick. So right there, that's a southern black widow spider. I know I've said it about 10 times, but there it is. You can see the hourglass underneath right there. So southern black widows, sometimes they will have um, a, a divided hourglass, which means it's like two triangles almost touching. Not quite, but barely, but, like, but almost. And they will also sometimes have a red dot right above the spinnerets on the abdomen, so right on the back of the abdomen. Alright, so 
That was pretty cool. Let's see if we can find some more. This rock looks promising. Looks like we've got a whole bunch of cellar spiders. You can see them, they're very camouflage. There is a lot of webbing over here, so I want to be careful. You never know, you did see there were two black widows over there last time. First, I'm curious, what's in this? Looks like a jumping spider, possibly. Maybe with eggs, yep. Sorry, I wasn't focusing. <laughs> there we go, right there, there's a jumping spider. Right there. And so that's actually his egg sac. Inside of there, it, it, can, it can go through this part. In the middle, there's an egg sac, so it stays with the eggs until they hatch. And then they go out on their own. There is a blackwood over here. It's a juvenile. It's a very small juvenile right here. Um, you can see how they have much different uh, coloration than the adults do. So they'll have um, white lines and orange spots, just like you see right there. Um, the males of this of black widows keep the, this color pattern, um, but the females do not when they mature. So. As a comparison of size, here's my finger. Black Widow number two, let's try this rock. Oh yeah. So. There's another adult female right there. Some more eggs. So look, you see this one? This one has spots on the top of it, which makes me want to think it's possibly a northern black widow spider. Very cool. And I'm not uh, the greatest at identifying between the three different black widow species in the US. But I am taking my best guess. <laughs> it's a black widow for sure. And once again, a bunch of cellar spiders, because why not? Right, it's time for you to go back. Let's find some more. I saw something run over there that wasn't a black widow. Oh, that was just a cricket. Oh, look at this. That's why you always need to watch where you put your hands. That is a larger juvenile black widow. So as you can see, it is bigger than the other one, but still not enormous. So that might actually be a subadult, meaning next molt, um, next time it sheds its skin, it will become an adult. Here, there's another web, which means probably more black widows. There's a lot of fire ants around here. I keep getting bitten. They're stung. See, I think it's this rock right here. Yep. There is one right there. So that looks like a younger adult. So maybe its last molt it became an adult. Because that is a, a smaller one. That is a smaller one. So, and there, see, you can see there's plenty of food for them here. Look at all these wood lice, roaches, and especially the fire ants, which are also a threat to the spiders. But they seem to be doing very well. They seem to be thriving. All right, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Um, I really enjoyed making this video, I will say. Um, I, I am keeping one of the Black Widows for, um, for presentations. Um, there are so many of them out here that it's not going to affect their population um, at all. But I'm keeping one for educational purposes. Um, and I might even try and do a handling video in the future. I'm not sure about that, but I might. Um, if you're watching this, do not try this ever. Unless you're a tr unless you're trained and you know exactly what you're doing, never do this because black widows have very very potent venom. They are the most venomous species of spider in North America and they definitely do have the potential to kill a human. So never ever try this. I'm not promoting people trying to catch black widow spiders. They are not aggressive, but they are still dangerous. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you guys next time.